All right, Tesla, we've got a FSD 12.3.3 video to make. If things look a little different, it's because charging my watch, one of my favorite features of this car is just the chargers. If things look different, it's because we are in my wife's Tesla Model Y, which is uh, 2020, just two or three months older than mine, I'm trying to put in Tesla service. And we have a Tesla store, here we go. We have a tire that is, oh boy, it's giving me her profile, it's gonna squish me. We have a tire that is, keeps showing low pressure. Um, this one back here was 42 PSI, yesterday uh, but it's been going down to like 32 after a couple of drives so we're gonna head to tesla and see what's up figured we might as well make it a beta drive oh no did i forget sunglasses that is what we call a problem we are going to back up and get sunglasses. So quick hitch, we will actually check out how the new microphone works. Um, I am using a new wireless mic. Here we go, I'm walking away from the camera. This was something, I know that it's so nerdy, right? But people are like, oh, TikTok got me. This is literally something that TikTok got me. Um, I saw a guy doing, you know, filming. He was showing how the mic worked, and uh, a two pack was seven bucks. So I was kind of blown away, right? Like, hey, no way! Look, we're already at thirty-eight psi. So from my wife's last drive to this, um, we've we've lost a few psi. So you know, for eight bucks, I was basically like seven, eight bucks, whatever these the price. This it was a two pack. Um, and I'm not being, there's like no hyperbole here. It was literally, uh, under $10. I, I don't remember the exact, exact number. So don't quote me, but in any case, um, an incredible deal. If this is working, of course, if you're listening to this and the audio is terrible, well then, uh, that's my bad. Maybe we'll take the video down. But here we are leaving the neighborhood. I'm trying to organize some stuff in a chewy bar. I, I eat these chewy bars more than probably more than my kids. Hopefully that's not too loud on the mic. Hopefully the view is pretty good on your end. Now this is, again with being my wife's car, um, she's not driving a lot on beta. Well, I say beta on uh, supervised. So that could be a good or a bad thing. I feel like mine has gotten a little better over the past few days since I've had 12.3. Uh, and I think that is because it's gotten in more reps, but I have no actual way to prove that. Mm, so good. All right, unprotected left. There we go. We've got traffic coming from the east. Traffic coming straight at us. Interesting to see how Ego proceeds. I think we're clear. I think we should be proceeding. And we are. And just like last time, really well done. Proceeded respectfully from the car that was making a right that was approaching us from the opposite direction, turned into the proper lane, and then instantly got over here into this rightmost lane. So this is a 25 minute drive to Tesla at Easton. And I'm not sure if we'll film for the whole thing, but film for a bit of it to see how we do getting on the highway and such. I try to do as much non-highway driving as possible because I just don't like driving on highways. I just don't like other people. Take a look at the software here, confirm. Yeah, 12.3.3. 
supervise. Looks like map navigation is the 2023.44. So everything's the same as my car. Now turning right onto Sawmill Parkway would sound a lot better. Instead of now turn onto Sawmill Parkway. You know, when she says now turn, she's giving me a command, but I'm not the one turning, the robot is. Ego is. Try to straighten up that camera angle for you guys a little bit. So far, so good with 12.3.3 FSD supervised. For those of you in Central Ohio, this stretch of Sawmill Parkway is actually really fun to drive when you're not on FSD. And it's also really fun to drive when FSD is doing it. Tire pressure holding in at 38. Hopefully just a simple slow leak. So Tesla used to have mobile service come directly to your house and handle these things. The tech named Nick is a really, really sharp young guy and was really good at what he did. Um, and I, I think they can the whole program. I think he's still with the company in a different role. Um, but I, I think they got rid of mobile service, which I always found to be pretty interesting. A mobile tire service, that is. Because um, if you're listening to Tesla, that was an incredible incredible service that you offered. Very um, convenient is the word we're looking for. So we are at a red light coming up behind this. Oh, wow. Coming up behind this Ford and Ego chose to get over. I did. I had no input there. Ego just chose on its own to get over so as to not be behind a car at a red light uh, when there was an open lane. That's pretty cool. That's yeah, an electric Ford, too, because there's no door handles. I don't know uh, very much about their lineup at all. But that was definitely not a standard looking. Yeah, like it's got some real thin headlights I can see from the back. Mm. First cup of coffee of the day. Mm. Here we've got a car behind us, maybe going around us. We're going too slow. Ego's got us going 46 and a 45. Of course, we're just going to a red light, so it's not like there's anywhere to go. We'll see if they try to cut us off. just about another mile and a half until we reach the highway and so far all well in FSD supervised land ego just doing its thing I don't know if you can see from the camera up here this new setting I think it was a, a version 12 setting, might have been 12.3.3, .3, but I think it was just 12 or 12.3 that gave us the option for like automatic speed control. I forget, let's see exactly how they worded it. Um, I am paying attention to the road. See, this is not cool. It's giving me, it's, it's, it's trying to get on me here for not paying attention to the road while I'm looking at its own settings. There you go. Automatic speed, automatic set speed offset. It says that allows autopilot to drive at the speed it determines most natural. Factors uh, that it considers things are things like road type, traffic flow, environmental conditions, speed limit, and the selected full self-driving 
profile setting. So chill, average, or assertive. Um, and this is the driver is always responsible for the speed of the vehicle and expected to intervene as needed. So that's interesting. Uh, I have been uh, tapping the accelerator, not on this drive actually, but on other drives, I found myself you know, tapping the accelerator to, to tell Ego, hey, you need to speed up. This is, this is not acceptable. Um, because it's choosing a really weird, really weird speed a lot of the time. The speed limit might be 45 and it'll go 42. So it's not even going 45. And obviously most people go 50 or 55 in a 45. So when you're going 42 and people are going 55, they're going to be pretty mad. So hopefully, you know, when it talks about speed flow and things like that, like that's what it's talking about. All right, half mile, my seat is starting to cook. Half mile until we get to the I-270. And we'll be heading eastbound. Now, I have let Ego do this all on its own before on version 11. Apply a slight force to turning wheel. I got you, guy. It's a double turn. We'll see which lane it chooses. It was kind of hugging there. Uh, kind of hugging the fence. It's going to choose this outermost lane with less cars. Probably a good choice. But turning and merging and getting on to the right lane on the highway, it's got to feel super automatic, right, for no steering wheels for level 5. We are. If you follow my channel, if you follow me, you know that we're a ways away, in my opinion, from level 5. I can adjust the camera at all while we're sitting here. It looks pretty decent, giving you a decent shot. Is there a way to zoom in? Oh, oh boy, someone's getting honked at. One of the nice things about uh, ego driving is that it's it's never going to be like texting at a red light and get honked at because the light turned green and you know it's not going in enough time for the car behind it. Um, so here it's kind of hugging the middle of these two lanes. Now it's okay. So that's good. It was kind of a little bit in the middle, but it has a left turn signal on still. So I don't know if that's confusing people behind us. Also only going 52 miles an hour. Now we're getting a little bit of juice. Okay. So it made the turn out of the double left onto the highway. It's got us up to 70 miles an hour and Wow, 75 miles, 74 miles an hour. I was not expecting that, to be honest with you. However, it's got us in a merge exit only lane. So what's it going to do? It's speeding up. And it's going to have to merge over. Better not try to overtake this guy. Oh boy, dogwood. What are we going to do? Oh boy. Oh boy, I was so close to intervening. Wow. Oh yeah, that was not an ideal merge. Not an ideal merge. Wow. Um, it should have just gotten behind this white car sooner or in front of it a bit faster. Uh, I kind of just waited to the last minute. Now we're in an exit lane, so we are going to need to get out of this exit lane, and of course the car behind us just did the same thing. Two cars behind us just did the same thing. Oh wait, actually, maybe I misspoke. I did misspeak, so the exit lane uh, is on the right. We're actually cool in this lane. And now speeding up to be sandwiched in between these two cars. Not a huge fan of that move. But with only two and a half miles, just under three miles to our destination, maybe it's not caring so much about getting in the right hand lane, uh, the left hand lane. It's got us going 75. 
which is a comfortable speed. Uh, I would prefer a different lane. So let's see what happens. Oh, got us changing lanes to stay out of rightmost lane. So that's what it just popped up on the screen. It literally said rightmost lane. That's interesting. Okay. Well, all in all, not terrible. A little terrifying on that merge. Changing lanes into faster lane is what it just flashed. Interesting. Changing lanes into faster lane. Pretty good. So this is my preferred spot. Oh boy, there's a car on the side of the road over there, but I don't think anything any of us could do. Uh, this is my preferred spot, which is going like 74, 75 in the middle lane. And on road trips, there's really nothing like it when you don't have to you know, do as much and be as attentive. Uh, you're, you're, you're attentive. Um, you're not playing euchre or anything, but you're um, more of a pilot than an active driver, you know, more of a monitor. Now, this is interesting with... Oh, I see. Okay, I was I was looking at the navigation a bit wrong. So we have seven more miles. I am applying for us here, guys. We have seven more miles. Um, so it got us into the leftmost lane, which is, I'm guessing, where we'll cruise. So pretty... Uh, Pretty simple stuff. Um, I'm gonna wrap it on this, and once we get to the Tesla dealership while they're fixing the tire, I will get this video uploaded, check the audio from this new wireless lavalier mic, and see if I can give you a look at what that looks like. Uh, actually, it's gonna be too hard to grab the camera. In any case, it's a little clip-on thing. I genuinely can't believe I did a couple of test runs with it, and it recorded pretty well, and I was pretty much blown away at uh, what you can get for under 10 bucks. So not complaining with FSD supervised 12.3.3 getting us uh, to the highway here and uh, pretty much no real issues. We're gonna make a clip out of the merge scenario because it seemed pretty, it seemed, uh, you know, less than I uh, optimal let's put it that way but outside of that thanks for watching and we'll have a new video soon peace